we're gonna jump into the uh, box geometry. Lord Finesse, the Awakening. Hip hop started in the Bronx in the mid 70s. In 1989, Lord Finesse stepped on the scene. Ladies. No if, ands, or maybes. We can still together, but hold on the baby. Finesse, known for his prolific metaphors, now in 1996, steps back on the scene with the awakening. Now shift the beat of bail slow. Buckle up, you about to experience a lyrical journey into Lord Finesse's new EP. The awakening, sleeping is prohibited. No gimmicks allowed on board. And before we take off, I would like to acknowledge a few heads that made this trip possible. You know what I'm saying? Finesse ain't touching the mic unless he blowing it up, you know what I mean? And you know, the best MCs in the world can't stand toe to toe with Lord Finesse, for real. Yo, he's just, he's just L, yo, he's just not a performer, man, he's just, you know, he's unique. I remember the first time I saw him, and it's not the first time I saw him, but I mean the first time I saw him perform. It was like at the new music seminar. And during that time, that's when he was in the battle, and they never knew this kid at all. He was Adam. And he was coming up there and he was just rip, rip, ripping. And he was doing things off the top of his head. They were like, who is this shorty? Who is this shorty? And Jazzy J was on the side. He was telling people, that's my man. That's my man. Dr. Dre, my brother, yo, keep that beat going. Cause I'ma keep doing my thing. I'm straight making pace. So everything's cool in the gang. I'm all about cash and females that got bad lovers. I don't have no time to be dealing with them crab brothers. And speaking on who's bad, I've been one of the baddest rappers since brothers is wearing do rags. It ain't you no should go pick up a Lord Finesse album for a couple of reasons. One is you were shorting on the first album and it was first lady. Um, you know, a lot of records wasn't made up, it wasn't shit to the DJs, so you really didn't get a chance to fully know what Lord Finesse was about. Lord Finesse got something for your eardrums. Back on the scene, long time, no hear from. Yeah, I was always a Finesse fan because he had the type rhymes that was like, you have to think about it. The metaphors is like type wild, and I was always for that wild, crazy, deranged type of stuff. One of the greatest that came out, straight up and down. Not because he's my man, but a lot of other people know this, but you just get underrated. The first single off the joint, The Awakening, is called Hip to the Game. Brothers better lounge when I pass through town. And it's real fat, you know what I'm saying? Don't know Check it out. Ask around. Check it out. I'm not a newcomer. They say well, The Awakening starts off with the church sermon. I'm bugging. Like how I do every album, start off with something bug, then it goes into time to balance. I got doo-wop on it, you know, taking you through this journey as you prepare to listen to this album. Then the first cut is called um, True and Living, some real futuristic type, 2000 type, music type thing. I'm just laying that finesse, finesse, I, I feel the delivery is way more, way more elegant. I've been laying it down before. And after True and Living, you got the OC and a little sinister, dark Quincy Jones soundtrack type music. And he's talking, he's, he's paying tribute to this to this project, Man, a quick rhyme, you know. And then after that comes Brainstorm with me, Karis, One, and OC. This is the scientific, extra prolific, terrific, mystic, simplistic, metaphysic, no gimmick type lyric. You can't imagine I break down your Flintstone style in the fragments So pay attention to the man rapping Don't Say hello caller, what's your name, where are you calling from? My name is Kula Porter from Philadelphia, All right, you got the floor, what's your question? Well, I want to ask, I want to ask how long he's been rapping And what made him stand out to the record company? As an artist, performing and freestyling I, I could get, I get my thing on, you know? As far as turning the crowd upside down, that's the, I get off doing that. Just hearing the crowd go, ooh. I kick a party till I'm all in the rock. This can't go out like a Freestyling is not talking about one particular topic. It's just about, yo, you can start from your shoes and you can end up in your girl house and you can end up there, there, there. 
as a freestyler, I mean, I think he's real cool with that because, I mean, everybody who's like true hip-hop with no finesse is, yo, if he's on the stage at the club, it don't matter who's headlining. Give him like 10 minutes. I mean, forget his record. Give him 10 minutes an acapella, and nine times out of 10, he's going to shut it down because he'll probably start it from here, then he'll take you to Z, then he'll bring you back to one, two, three, then take you right up to 100 real fast. And that keeps the crowd set like a whole mood within the whole audience. So it's like type wild to watch him as a freestyle artist, man. That's, that's I think, is this highlight, man, and that's whole highlight as an artist. So on, on the EP he got out now, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't it ain't just a freestyle album, you know what I'm saying? You got some topics on there talking about chickens, you know, getting money, whatever, boom, bam. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like how his stuff is going down this time. Like I said, when you drop rhymes, it's like, you know he gonna have you on some either laughing, or he gonna have you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? He, he just drop me on somebody, you know? That name fit, you know what I'm saying? That's him. It's gonna be man, you know what I'm saying? You funky, man funky. What up? Ain't nobody can take that away from you. And that's just, he always gonna be the Lord, you know what I'm saying? That's, to me, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's like my brother, you know what I'm saying? As us as a crew, you know what I'm saying? Me, M. Show Diamond, we all like brothers, you know what I'm saying? Digging in the crate, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much to be affiliated with that. To me, as a lyricist, to me, is like the best. I won't say one of the best, because if you listen to a lot of cats that are out now, you can hear a little bit of finesse in all of them. EP is coming out. It's incredible. You know what I'm saying? It's something to have in your collection. Definitely go out and get it. Support your people. I'm true, and I'm still living, and you can't stop me. And I'm going to be here, like Karis once said, forever. And forever. ever and ever. And ever and ever. And ever. Do you hear us in here? Forever. Ever. You know?